Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our exciting lesson on grocery store careers, part one. This is part of our overall unit on career awareness. Now that you are in high school, we want to get you guys thinking about what you're going to do after high school. So we're going to talk about some great entry level careers that can boost your resume and experience and help prepare you for other jobs that you might want to pursue later on in life. OK, so grocery store careers. These are jobs that you'll find at your local grocery store, whether that's Stater Brothers, Ralph's, maybe you go to Aldi's or you shop at the Target grocery store. Let's learn about these careers. So some basic work vocabulary that I want to review before we get into the lesson are employer. Employer is the person or company that you work for. So in this case, the grocery store would be your employer. Employee. A person who has a job and works at a given location. In this case, it's employees who work at a grocery store, the workers there. Schedule. Schedule indicates the days and hours that you will arrive for work. It's very important that you arrive on time, that you leave on time, and that you indicate or write your hours correctly on your time card, okay? Because this is how you get paid. This is part of being responsible. So if you're not showing up to work on time, you might get fired or let go from your position because they need someone who will show up on time and be accountable and perform the basic duties of the job that they um, have chosen. And the last one is hourly wage. Hourly wage is the amount of money that you make each hour. I believe that the current hour hourly wage is 12 to $15 in the state of California. It just depends on where you work. Some places might have a higher hourly wage and some positions might have a higher hourly wage, but it also comes with more responsibilities, okay? So you kind of have to weigh that out and decide, do you want to have a lower hourly wage and have less responsibilities or a higher hourly wage and more responsibilities? So. We're going to be talking about shelf stockers and grocery baggers this week. So a shelf stalker, as you can see in the picture to the left, it's someone whose job it is to constantly restock grocery shelves in each aisle so that there is enough product on the floor for customers to purchase. So throughout the day, as people are buying groceries, you might have to refill or restock these shelves to make sure you have enough product on the floor. Otherwise, you'll have to go to the back the back warehouse area where the trucks deliver shipments of these products and you'll have to sort through it. So if you're restocking constantly, you won't have to do that as often, okay? So here's another picture of someone who's restocking shelves. She's pulling a giant cart or dolly that has stuff that needs to be restocked. So some shelf stocker requirements. Well, you need to be able to take inventory of items to decide which aisles need to be restocked. Inventory is seeing how much of an item you have on hand versus how much you need. You need to be able to sort and organize items on shelves, making sure that the items match and are not in different areas than where they should be. So um, if you're stocking pasta, you'll need to be able to organize and sort the different types of pasta by brand of pasta and by the um, weight or amount of pasta that is in the box. This is really important so that you don't put the wrong items in the wrong area and people buy it thinking that it costs less or it costs more um, because then you might get in trouble. So you need to be able to sort and organize items where they belong, their appropriate place on the shelf. You also need to be able to move between the back warehouse of the grocery store and the in-store aisles. So in that previous picture, we saw the girl pulling the dolly cart with the items in it. And so that's what you would use to transport the items that you are going to be restocking the shelves with. So you'll move between the two places, the back of the grocery store and the front in-store aisles. And so you need to be able to push carts with heavy products. All right, this is really important so that you, um, you don't hurt yourself. So if this isn't 
um, your strong suit, if you are not able to push heavy things, then this might not be a good career for you. And lastly, you need to be able to reach high and low shelves. So in the previous example um, picture, I believe that the man was on a ladder or a step stool to help him reach the higher shelves. So you'll have assistance. You'll need to be able to operate a ladder or step stool in order to reach high and low shelves. In a grocery store, the shelves do not go that high, thankfully. Whereas if you were working in a warehouse like Costco, you would need to be able to operate actual machinery in order to move from the high top shelves to the low bottom ones. So these ones are easier to reach. The most assistance you might need is a step stool. All right, here's another position, grocery bagger. A grocery bagger, as you can tell from the picture on the left, is someone whose job it is to assist customers in bagging their groceries during checkout. They will sometimes assist in pushing carts out to a customer's car and placing the grocery bags inside. It just depends on the grocery store that you work at as well as what their policies are, especially because of COVID-19. So in order to become a grocery bagger, it's not as simple as it looks. You can't just place stuff anywhere. You have to do it in a certain order. So let's talk about some job requirements for grocery baggers. All right, this is a person pushing a cart out with products to someone's car and they're helping them unload it into their vehicle. So in order to become a grocery bagger, you'll need to be able to organize products into the bags according to the type of product. You definitely want to separate produce and meats from cleaning supplies, from um, items that shouldn't be near meat or items that need to be cold versus items that can be room temperature as well as by the weight of the product. So when you're bagging groceries, the heavier products will go on the bottom and the lighter, more delicate items, such as eggs, um, different, maybe like a cake or something, they'll go on top or in a separate bag so that they don't get crushed. So if you are putting lighter objects on the bottom, that is not good because when the customer gets home, that will be damaged and they're probably going to come back and demand a refund. So make sure you put heavy items on the bottom of the bag. Lighter items go on top of the heavy ones. You also need to be able to push a heavy cart of groceries outdoors to a customer's vehicle. Thankfully, the carts are pretty easy to push. Um, even if they're filled with stuff, you might have to apply a little more force than usual in order to push the cart. Um, you'll also have to be able to lift the grocery bags out of the cart and into the customer's car, which means that you need to be able to organize it. So making sure that you're placing the grocery bags in neatly into the customer's car and not just throwing things in. Again, if you do that, it will damage items and the customer will want a refund, which means you might get in trouble or your supervisor might come and talk to you about how to appropriately fulfill your job. Okay. So these are just a few of the requirements for both grocery baggers and shelf stockers. Next week, we'll go more in depth on um, cashiering as well as managerial positions and a few of the other um, less, less highlighted positions in a grocery store, okay? I hope that this was helpful. In today's lesson activity, we're going to follow up by performing um, some tasks that relate to grocery bagging as well as shelf stocking to make sure that we know how to place items in the correct place that they go, as well as how to correctly bag groceries with heavier items on the bottom, lighter items on top. I hope that this was helpful. Take care, you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.